Hi guys, Steph here. Now, this morning, it was like Christmas for me again. I was all very excited. I've been waiting for these pens to arrive. This is my uh, latest acquisition, so I thought I'd share it with you people out there and share my excitement with you. Um, what you'll see, we've got a few pens here that we've purchased. Now, well, this one speaks for itself. We've got an Anotto pen here, a very unusual model. I'm not even too sure which one this is, so I need to do a little bit of homework and find out what it is. Uh, very unusual, but very interesting. So we've got that one, and then if we take these out of the tubes, yes, we've got another Anotto. <laughs> so this is, uh, incidentally, all these Anottos are actually plunger fillers, but... As expected, and as you expect when you actually buy these particular pens, um, you know, generally, unless they've actually been fully serviced, restored, they generally need servicing. And, well, for me personally, I'm going to restore all these pens. So we've got that one. So that's two Anottos. Hey, as you guys know, or, well, hopefully you'll know by now, I'm quite partial to Anotto pens. Here we go, and another Renato pen. This one's actually a lovely example. Um, this is a, a slim Renato. Um, it's a patent self-filling pen. Again, a plunger filler. Um, again, the plunger's not working, so it's going to need a full service. Nice thing about this one. There you go, look at that. An over and under feed, which are very interesting in their own rights. So once again, we're going to be working on that one as well, so I've got a lot of work to do here. It's going to keep me busy for quite a while. <laughs> and here we've got, what's this? Oh, it's another Renato, and again, a plunger filler. Again, the plunger's all stuck and hardened inside, so once again, we're going to need a service on this one. Um, this one's the lovely... I believe the model on this one, uh, I checked before, it's actually the 5600 and this is the ink visible. So once we've restored it, we should hopefully get the visibility back um, in, in the barrel there once it's actually been cleaned and serviced etc. So what we got? One, two, three, four Anottos! So this one came in this little sort of unassuming box. What have we got? Hey, hey another Anotto. <laughs> um, this one is the Anotto 3000. Um, very similar to what I've just showed you. There's no over and under feed on this one. Once again, uh, the plunger is stuck. As I say, with these particular pens, or in, unless they're actually fully restored, fully serviced, then you have to expect them to be in, well, not in working order. Um, so that's what I expected, that's what I've seen. But apart from that, all they need is a little bit of uh, bit of love and attention, a um, bit of restoration, and we'll have them up working. Right, what's this? Let's open it up. Hey! Another Renato! <laughs> um, what we've got is, this is a very interesting one, a lovely pen, um, a lovely quality pen as well, and this one's in actually lovely condition. Um, if we could just show you the the barrel imprint, I don't know if that's sort of visible, because what I'll be doing, it, it, well basically it's a Anotto valveless fountain pen. Uh, once again, it's a plunger. Once again, the plunger needs servicing. Um, the whole pen needs servicing. Um, but look at that. The beautiful thing about this one, it comes with the Anotto, the pencil, which is in full working order. Both of these in gorgeous condition before I even touch them. And the lovely thing about them, look at that. Anotto Delarue, sorry, Delarue Anotto Production comes with the original case so there we have it so i thought i'd show well i thought i'd share my recent acquisition my excitement what we've got is six different anotto plunger fountain pens now what i'm going to do 
I've got a lot of work on, these will all be worked on, they'll be fully serviced, they'll be restored etc. I'm actually thinking that I may actually keep one of these and sometimes just while I'm on the subject this is how I actually get my personal pens, the ones that I actually want. Um, obviously I've had, I've had to buy all these pens um, so they've obviously cost me money obviously um, but what will happen I'll resell most of the pens just to keep one in my collection. Now I've got a feeling I'm going to keep this particular set in my collection. I'm not 100% sure yet. It might even be this particular pen because it's quite an interesting one. Um, and I do believe it, it might be actually, it might be a bit of a rare one. I don't know. We need to do a bit of homework. But the nice thing about it, we've got a, a lovely Anotto box as well. So... Um, so, as I say, I was very excited this morning. I'd like to share, as I've done, this is my latest acquisition. As I say, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be very busy. All of these are going to be fully restored. Most of them are going to be resold so that I can keep one particular pen in my collection. And in effect, that's how I finance my pen collection. I'll buy a job lot like this. Obviously, they've cost me quite a bit of money. I'll resell them and hopefully at the end I'll have a nice pen in my collection. And again, maybe this particular set here. As I say, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but uh, I'm looking maybe to keep, to keep this set here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this quick uh, look at these pens. Obviously what I'll do, unless I've actually shown you the same pen before, um, I don't think I'm going to do a repeat review. But if it's a pen that I've not shown you before on my on my channel, then what I'll do, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished pen, restored, working, etc. And we'll do a little bit of a writing sample as well. So for now, I hope you've enjoyed looking at looking at my latest acquisition, these six Anotto pens. Um, I'm very excited. Well, I was this morning. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pens. Leave a comment below. Um, incidentally, if anybody knows what this particular model is here, um, if you leave a comment, that would be appreciated. Actually, let's just show show you again. It's quite a smallish, smallish one. It's got the split cap. Um, it's got a lovely nib on it. It's a plunger filler quite a short pen if anyone's got any ideas on it leave a comment it would be appreciated so i hope you've enjoyed looking at him leave a comment but for now i'll just say bye bye now